Well, I am here with the solution of today's question. I do post the question daily on my Instagram and provide solution for that here on my YouTube channel. So do follow me on Instagram, try those questions, and verify your answer in my YouTube channel. My Instagram link is provided in the description. And for those who tried this question and got the answer as 26,400, like a suggestion for you people, because that is a correct answer. Okay, let us go through the question now. A person borrowed a sum of 30,800 rupees at 10% annum, I mean at the rate of 10% per annum, for three years. Compounded annually means compound interest. Okay, but what he did was he paid some of the amount at the end of second year. How much did he pay? He paid 12,600. And so let us find how much would be the amount at the end of second year and how much would be remaining after he paid 13,250. Okay, so for first year, the interest would be 10% of 30,800, which is 3,080. And second year, the interest would be first year interest plus again 10% on 3018, which is 3018. So all our interest is 6160 plus 3018, which is 6468. So this is the extra amount that we need to pay along with 30,800 at the end of second year. So 30,800 plus 6468, which is 6137268. But he already paid 13,216. Let us subtract from 37,216. 24,000 is remaining at the end of second year. Okay. But at, uh, in the third year, he need to pay interest along with this 24,000. How much is the rate of interest? 10%. 10% of 24,000 is 2,400. So, he finally need to pay 26,400 rupees at the end of third year in order to clear the debt. Okay? This is how we need to solve this particular part of the question. If you find this video helpful, do like, subscribe and share.